Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Carl D'Souza. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to take a look at a new feature coming up in release wave 1 of 2020 for D365. That feature is all about using modal forms. So the ability through code to open up a form as a modal form in D365. Let's take a look at how to use it. So I wrote a blog post about this. I'll put this in the description below. Um, we're going to go through some code that is in this post and we're going to see how to use this new feature. And what this does is it opens forms in a modal dialogue. So this was actually a pretty interesting timing one for me. I was in a design session with a client and uh, we were figuring out the best user flow to uh, enable users to create records while being on another record in D365. And we went through various different scenarios. We had uh, in Unified Service Desk, we had tabs opening, we looked at quick creates, we looked at various different things. But uh, interestingly, this is one that uh, is still in pre-release, but it is uh, going to be a very interesting one when the time comes. So let's look at how to use this. Um, first thing you'll want to do is enable release one in your Power Platform for um, D365. So the way to do this is to go to admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com, sign into your uh, into this environment, and then click on environments, and you'll see um, a list of uh, all your D365 Power Platform environments, and select one, and then come over here on the right and you'll see updates and you'll be able to see if you have enabled uh, release wave one and if you have not um, then you'll be able to click on a button that will enable it here so once that's done you'll see that this is turned on and you'll have an access to uh, all those preview features and there's a few interesting ones so once that's done uh, let's go and uh, go to this org and uh, if I click over here, this is the org that has this release wave one enabled. So let's look at how to use this code. Um, so the way to do this is we're going to go over to accounts and we'll select an account and uh, we'll be on the account record. And then we're gonna run some JavaScript to, um, to open up some modal forms, right? So we'll see how this works. So this is a typical account record. And if I hit uh, F12, it's gonna take me to the developer console. Um, let's clear that out. And uh, let's take a look at some code, right? So um, if I just jump back to my post. So this is the, this is the uh, way that we're gonna call this navigate to. It is XRM navigation navigate to. Uh, we can see there's a couple of objects that we're passing in here. One is a page input and the other one is navigation options. So two different objects and they both have uh, various different properties that enable us to do different stuff. And we also have a uh, success callback and an error callback um, after you have run this method, okay? So let's start with an easy one. This one is uh, going to open up an entity record for contact. So I'm gonna grab this code and let's copy it and over here we'll paste it in. And one thing just to note is when I copy this from my blog, I actually get these uh, double quotes. So I'm just going to replace these. And uh, that looks pretty almost good. And there we go. So the code, um, page type, we are going to pass entity record. And we will be passing a uh, entity name of contact. So we want to open up, up, open up uh, the contact form. Um, we have a position here of one, uh, and we'll see what that means in a second. And we also have a width, and the unit of our width is a percentage, and the value is 50, so it's 50%, right? Pretty straightforward. So let's hit enter and run this. And what we see is this contact form has popped open, right? So I'm just gonna close the debugger for a second. So this is taking up 50% of our screen, right? And this is a contact form, and you can see it's uh, it's pretty much a real contact form, right? Um, we have these tabs here that are um, part of this form. Uh, we're getting multiple tabs. Doesn't appear to be any 
restriction in terms of what's displayed and we have uh, various different sections on the form and we have uh, various different fields right so again this is pre-release stuff we may see uh, restrictions appearing um, but so far you know this is what we have right um, if we want to expand this we can go into full screen mode and that's going to take up the entire real estate here of this page right and then if we collapse this down it takes us back to the uh, the size that we had set when the when we open this and to close this out we can hit the x button we also have a save and close we have a save we have a new um we have a flow right so let's x out of this and it takes us back to the uh account record that we're on right so the user may have um the scenario where they want to create a contact and then they can just quickly enter that they could enter multiple and then they can just end up back on this account form right um, if I hit F12 again, let's take a look at some other parameters. So we see that the, uh, the position is one and let's just change this to two and take a look at what happens, right? So if I make this two, um, now we see that the form has opened on the right. Okay. And this is kind of the position that a quick create form would open if we were to pop it. Um, but it doesn't have the restrictions that a quick create has, right? So in this case, we have multiple uh, sections and tabs. Um, you know, we don't appear to be restricted in the same way that quick creates are restricted. And we can also pop this out to full screen mode. And you can see it's very nicely just uh, uh, redrawn itself to be a full screen here, right? Uh, we can minimize that back again, right? So it's quite nice how it does that redrawing. So let's close this and let's go back into the debugger here and let's just play around with some sizing as well. Um, you know, at the moment we have a size of 50%. You know, if we made this like something really big here, let's make this like uh, 95% and click on enter. And we can see here that, um, you know, this is really displaying like a full uh, contact here now. So, Pretty nice. Um, let's take a look now at uh, opening up an existing record, for example. Okay. So the way we can do this is let's close this. And if we jump back over to my blog, um, let's scroll down a little and we'll grab some more code. So if we take a look at uh, this code here, what we're doing is opening an account record and we will send through an entity ID this time. Um, we're gonna open this in position one, so it's gonna be in the middle of the screen again. So let's click back here. So even though I'm on an account record here, I'm just gonna go and open up a, another account record, a different one. And once again, I'm just going to replace these double quotes. So if you're copying from my blog, just uh, make a note of that. I'm sure you'll figure that out anyway, but this would be the reason why this may not work for you. Obviously change the entity ID if you are specifically uh, wanting to run this code. And we got this at 50%. Um, and we can set this to pixels as well if we wanted to. Let's just keep it a percentage for now. And uh, let's hit enter and see what happens. So you can see that it's actually opened up uh, an account record here um, using its ID. And uh, technically speaking, this is the same ID, right? If you look in the URL here, there is the ID record and uh, the entity ID record over here is the same thing, right? So, and just a note, you know, if you're a user and you're clicking around here in the uh, outside of the modal, you won't be able to do anything. So uh, right now I'm actually moving my cursor and clicking outside and, and it's not actually uh, closing down the modal keeping it open um, the way to close it is to is to X out of it or do the save and close right even escape is not working for me at this point in time so I'm gonna X out of that and um, so now if I jump back to my blog let's take a look at a couple of other things here um, so the navigate to also uh, has entity lists that we can display so if we wanted to run this code for example let's copy it over and, and run it and see what we get so if we copy this, let's go back over to the account record and hit F12. And if we paste this in, 
So same deal as before, if you're copying this, just make sure to change the double quotes and let's change this. So we can see here the page type is entity list this time as opposed to entity record. And we are going to open up the uh, an account entity list, okay? So this is not gonna open in a modal, I don't know what the plan is in terms of uh, potentially having these lists open in a modal, but let's run this. So if I click enter, you can see it's redirected us to this uh, entity list, right? And this is the default entity list for accounts because we're not actually specifying a uh, particular list that we'd like to open, okay? Um, so, so that's how that runs and opens. If we wanted to run and open a specific entity list, um, we can use this code here and I'm gonna grab this and you can see here we're passing a view ID, right? Um, click over here and paste this in and do a real quick update of these quotes again. So we're opening the account and here's the view ID. So this is the GUID off the uh, ID and um, I'll show you where we get that in a second. And this final quote update here. So again, entity list, account, the view ID. We're currently on my active accounts. If I go and run this, then we're redirected to accounts I follow, right? And we can see up here in the URL, the view ID is actually um, this ID here. And then you can see that that's actually the same ID that I have used to open this view, okay? Um, the final thing that we'll take a look at is web resources and we'll show how these open. So if we jump back over to here and um, you can see that uh, there is some, we can pass a page type to open up um, a web resource. And if I go over here, let's take a look at some code. Um, I'm going to X out of this. Let's go to advanced settings and let's just take a quick look at a web resource that I created. And we will go over to customizations and customize the system. And if we click on web resources, we can filter out uh, to specifically pick up the one that I created. Let's go and create a custom filter here. And I am going to um, say contains, and I happen to know the name of this web resource is test web resource. And if I search for this, here is the web resource. I'm going to click on name here and here it is. And if I click on the text editor, so all it does is just say hello world, right? Pretty simple HTML web resource. And the name is new underscore test web resource dot HTML, right? So if I uh, X out of this and let's go and copy this code uh, from my blog and we are going to reference this very specifically. So hit F12 and if I paste this in, uh, once again, we'll just do a quick update. And so the page type is web resource as opposed to entity list or entity record. Um, here's the web resource name. So you saw that it was called new underscore test web resource um, And uh, we are also setting the position here and the width and the, uh, the uh, value in unit, right? And we just got to update this final one and let's run this. So we see the web resource is opened at 50% in the middle of the screen and it is displaying the uh, HTML, that's great. The title is uh, kind of weird. It's displaying the title of the web resource instead of um, giving you the option to kind of send through a configuration for that so that you could potentially not display anything or display something a bit more meaningful, right? So you can maximize this, uh, bring it back to size, X out of it. And if we go back in and we just run, run this again, um, you know, it's kind of interesting scenarios, but you could change this to position two and then we'll get the web resource opening on the right. So, you know, you may have some, some interesting use cases for this, um, but yeah, that's how you use the Navigate 2. Hope you enjoyed.
So that's it guys, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course check out my blog at carldesouza.com.